You probably use Amazon to buy your everyday items, but did you know you can buy instruments on there as well? The problem is though, that the quality can range from decent to really horrible. So as a professional violinist who has played on some of the best instruments in the world, I've saved you the time and gone ahead and bought all the most popular violins on Amazon, which are under $1,000. We're gonna see which ones are most worth it and which ones you can stay completely away from. Let's get started. Here and of course the last one. It's a magic violin. All right, so I've labeled and put all the violins that we're gonna review today here. We're gonna go from cheapest to most expensive. Originally I thought I had eight instruments, but then uh, I made the mistake of the toy violin thing and it says that batteries included, but I can't seem to get it to work. I just, is it worth it for the love of music? No. All right, so we're gonna start with our first instrument. This one is the uh, Kataxan, Kataxan violin. I think it's $39. Um, oh God! <laughs> oh God, first the color and then, the, it doesn't even have a bridge. Where's the bridge? Actually though, where, where, oh, is this the bridge? Oh no, it doesn't even have any grooves. It says, getting started, you must assemble and tune your new violin prior to playing. Thank you. Oh gosh, this is so gross. All right, I'm gonna attempt to put this together. Blah. Oh gosh, this hurts my soul. I think that for $39, I'd, I'd rather play on the toy violin. Like, I would rather receive one of those. This is horrible. Oh, it comes with a bow, yippee. Check out the bow. This is the roughest. I mean, it's like they just found a stick and then they just like put some horse hair on it. That's, this is what this is. Oh, it comes with some rosin as well. So we can uh, put a little bit of a dash of rosin. Oh, I know. I can already imagine the sound in this thing. I don't think this rosin is doing anything. That's just awful. All right, so I'm gonna use my bow. This is the best thing that you'll ever have. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, to attempt to make the sound. It actually makes a sound. All right, I'm done. This is going back in the box. This is, <laughs> I mean, <coughs> oh God. All right, up next we have the Alias violin. Uh, this one is $90. So we have gone up more than double in price. We went from $39 to $90. Let's take a look. Oh gosh, why are these violins so awful? Like why? What the? Well, at least the bridge is in place. You'll notice that for 50 additional dollars, someone will put the bridge there for you. They won't tune it though. This is, you're still on your own for that, but at least it's there, so. I'm so scared that for retribution from my sins today, this an E strings is gonna snap in my face. Oh my gosh, that pattern is like an emo goth person. Oh gosh, why? Hey, look what it says here. What we craft is not just an instrument, but also an artwork. Beautiful. All right, well, uh, <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm also skipping this bow. We are going straight into my bow. Well, you know, it does make a sound. Okay, this is what I would call a toy violin. What, what kind of constructive thing can I say about this instrument? Um, nothing, absolutely nothing, because it's a piece of trash. All right, so the next instrument that we have is the E-Star violin for $130. Let this one hopefully be the first violin that can give us motivation to want to play it. Here we go. Oh, God, why? But you know, every time I just see a, oh, what are these things? It, it, it has like little markings on it. And it's not, really? So, okay, this is like not what I wanna see when I open a case. The smell of it too, it's like, it's so gross. Just for the record, it does come with a bow, but we're not gonna even go there anymore because we know how that's gonna end up. All right, so let's tune this up. 
know what? This previous instrument was actually better. Like even from the first few notes, I can just tell. <laughs> I can also tell by the feel of it as well. Like it's just, it, the workmanship is not as good like than the other instrument. And I know I said that it was trash, but this is real trash. This is absolute trash. All right, so we are uh, here. This is the Cecilio. This is $170, $170 for this instrument. Please, please let this be good. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. It has its own blanket. It has two bows. This is starting to look nice. Whoa! Oh, it even comes with a shoulder rest and a cloth. And oh my gosh, look guys, it even comes with a metronome. So you can practice and not rush. And what else is this? It, it comes with an extra pack of strings. This is nice. Even if the instrument sounds exactly the same already, it's like, I think all these things, extra items are worth it. It also comes with the bridge on the instrument. This is, this is great. Okay, we now we just have to tune this up. Oh gosh, what is that rattling? Is this a maraca? Okay, not good because when I try to push the bridge this way, look what happens. It just goes back, which means that the tailpiece is off center, which means that like this whole thing is out of alignment. Here we go, moment of truth. Wow, that's not bad. This is definitely a step in the right direction. So besides the fact that it's out of alignment, yeah, I think that could be just a tailpiece issue that, that could just then be readjusted. But otherwise, this instrument is actually not bad. This has my respect. Yeah, same with you. You'll, you're, you're, you're good too. You're, you're, you're quite good. I, I'm sorry I said bad things about you. You were, you're actually pretty fairly priced. Anyway, moving on. This is three hundred and forty dollars. It's called the Bunnell violin. And so, okay, we're gonna take a look at this one. Three hundred forty dollars. This one is twice as much as the one before. Oh, also has a blankie, you can see. And wow, okay. You can tell that this instrument is the first one that actually looks like it's made of wood. This looks like a violin. The bridge is on, of course, convincing. The bridge itself also looks better carved. The ones before, I mean, the grooves weren't even in there, so it was like all over the place. The alignment of the instrument itself looks pretty good. Also comes with a bow. This is a bow that's like definitely worth a lot more than the previous one. So this is this is definitely great. Again, it's probably not rosined, but you know, I just wanna Oh my gosh, it's actually rosined. Okay, so this is the first playable bow. Here we go. Wow, that's actually surprising. And for the sake of, you know, time in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my bow, knowing though that this bow is actually pretty decent. I'm gonna put that back here. Wow, the first like actual sound from one of these instruments that we've heard today. Wow, I gotta say, this instrument actually sounds really decent. $340 is not too much for something that is going to inspire you to practice, inspire you to play. Yeah, this is a really good, I would say, beginner violin. And of course, while instruments are important, they're not gonna make the biggest difference in your playing. The biggest difference is actually gonna be your attitude towards practicing. Now, every beginner who begins always is super excited when they pick up the instrument. However, there's a period of time when suddenly they become less motivated, they lose motivation because they hit a wall. Now, luckily, that doesn't have to happen because if you're anything like me, you'll probably find best motivation when you are surrounded by others who are also motivated to practice as well. So if you're like that, then definitely check out Tonic, which is an app that brings people together. Musicians of all levels can meet and practice together. There are also fun challenges where you get rewarded for practicing. And at the end of the day, 
day, what's more fun than practicing together? So definitely check it out. I've left the link in the description below so you can download it today. All right, so our next violin is called the DZ Strat and it's uh, priced at 575. So this is a significant kind of expense at this point. And I'd be you know curious to see how much better it is than the last one, which I was very impressed by. Ooh, velvet blue, <laughs> velvet blue <laughs> right here. Uh, this one is looking pretty nice. This looks like a like a legit violin case too. Okay, again, also nice wood. Oh, it's more more of the flame on the back. Everything looks really good. Oh, the bow looks really unique actually. Check out these cool. This has got the Florence flower uh, marking right here, which is really cool. Oh wow, and this one even comes with a really nice looking shoulder rest. This is nice. That's really nice as well. Oh, wow. It's definitely more of a robust sound in the lower register here. Wow, actually that's not bad, that's not bad. Definitely a little bit colder in terms of sound, but that G string is definitely more powerful. <laughs> Since it's called the DZ Strad, it's probably named after a Stradivarius, and uh, should check it out, see how it compares to the real thing. Real Strad. Nice. I knew this was money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> so I do think that the DZ Strat is a little bit better than the previous one. However, you know, it is also significantly more expensive. So it's interesting. I'll have to see the next one to see if like paying more necessarily means that it's a significant step up. So, all right, next and our final instrument to check out. All right, so this one is our last instrument here today. It's a Stentor, priced at $740, and you can see it even has a, a gold looking like label there, which means that, you know, this is the best of the best when it comes to Amazon cheap violins. Hmm. <laughs> oh, very, oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the hydromino looks so fancy. It looks like a watch. Oh, and the bow too, it's so shiny. Everything's so shiny. Oh my, uh, what? That doesn't have the bridge? Okay, well, you know what? Maybe it's just for transportation. Maybe it didn't want to ruin the, maybe the bridge just fell off. Okay, let's take a look here. The bridge says it's made in France. But okay, aside from that, it looks like that the instrument, you know, you can definitely see more of the grains. It looks, I don't know if this is like a lot better than the previous one. Check out the sound first. Okay, so here we go. Well, I definitely think it's the loudest instrument. Yeah, it's definitely the loudest instrument by far. It has a pretty good, pretty good cutting sound there. Sounds a little less warm as well. It's a little harsh actually. For $740, I think that an instrument, especially if you're starting, should be really warm. It should be really nice to play. It should be like a welcoming sort of sound to both you and the people around you because it's most likely that you are going to be making really unwelcoming sounds. So I think that that's really important uh, to get started with. Okay, so since this is the most expensive instrument on our list today, I'm gonna see if it can roll with the big boys. So we're gonna play some Brahms. I can feel that it is like literally like shaking underneath my fingers. It is just like, 
like under the pressure. I am not sure if it can withstand more. So overall, I definitely thought that the Bunnell or Buno violin at $340 definitely was not only the best bang for your buck, but also the best sounding instrument. And as for the others, I can't say that I could recommend them in good faith. Maybe the $90 violin, the Aliez violin, if you're looking for something that you just wanna play around with and not care too much about the sound, you could consider that. And of course, for those of you who are looking for a more curated experience, then I would definitely recommend going to a luthier because that's gonna have all your needs taken care of. And if you'd like to see what that feels like, you can check out my video that I made uh, where I went violin, instrument shopping, Price from $2,500 all the way to $500,000, half a million dollars there for that experience as well. But it's definitely gonna cost you more than even the most expensive instrument here that we've reviewed today. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.